guys I'm going to share with you today my recipe my crock pot recipe for brisket I have a brisket here that has marinated overnight in some red wine and I made a marinade to put on my brisket as it cooks and in this marinade I have some sea salt some Worcestershire sauce, some onion powder, some granulated onion, some minced garlic, and it's, I just used the jar kind, a little liquid smoke, some Old Bay seasoning, a pepper, and some thyme. And some garlic powder and brown sugar and that's what I mixed in the bowl to make my marinade that I am going to put on my brisket all right guys so I have all my roast in there and I just used some of this Merlot um, this is what I marinated it in so I've already put the other marinade in the um, all over my brisket the top and the bottom and I put the wine that was in the bag in here as well and I'm just gonna add a little more wine to it just a little more And guys, I'm just going to cook it on low for about eight hours. All right, guys, it's actually been about 10 hours. So now I'm just going to take the brisket out so I can slice it. And I'm just using a spatula to take it out to kind of keep it from falling apart because the meat is really tender. There you go, guys. It's too hot to even pick up. I was going to try to taste it. So anyway, guys, we're going to slice this up. This came out really tender though, and it's very good. So I would definitely recommend trying this. I've never done a brisket at all, and I was intimidated with trying to grill it because you really smoke it for several hours, pretty much almost a whole day. And I was a little intimidated by that, and I found a recipe showing to, um, cook it in the crock pot so that's what I try so we're just gonna slice this all up and then we're gonna put it back into the crock pot guys so here's the finished product it came out so juicy and flavorful I definitely recommend trying this this made enough for three meals so in this meal we ate it just like this this brisket and then the next day I shredded some and added barbecue sauce to it and made barbecue brisket sandwiches and we still have some that I froze so guys I definitely recommend this recipe and I thank you guys for watching have a great weekend